it's maybe weird. I'm realizing that now after saying it, but you can do it. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back. Um, a little while ago I promised a second tutorial video on how to draw on your eyebrows when you pick them out like I do. Uh, <laughs> the first one that I did was with the dip brow pomade from Anastasia Anastasia Potato Potato Beverly Hills. And this one I'm going to use, for me personally, the Tartlet palette by Tarte. I'm gonna use the shade Power Player. I'm just gonna get a swatch going for ya. My hands are really dry. Wow. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I'm not a swatch queen. Let's get over it. Like a light brown color. And for my dirty blonde, like super dark blonde, super light brown hair, it works. Basically, this is for if you either don't have eyebrows or you have picked them out like I have, or if you just like want to fill in your eyebrows with powder. How do you do it? How do you make it look natural? Well, um, the good news is it's never going to be perfect. Eyebrows are supposed to be sisters and not twins, so that works in your favor. That's an advantage. So I'm gonna use the Morphe E29 brush, and it is just like blunt and angled, much like myself on one end, and uh, then there's a spoolie on the other end, and what you use the spoolie for is to brush your things. And funny enough, that's not a nickname, like these are literally called spoolies. Fun fact. So yeah, what I do is I brush through my <laughs> limited eyebrows. Actually, they're not so bad this week. What I do is I tap the brush in the product a little bit, just to kind of not get it all the way through the brush, but just so it's like sitting on the edge and then I tap off the excess. Um, something that a lot of beauty gurus do is they like take the metal part it's called the ferrule, and they tap it to get the excess off. But I don't know, like something that I was taught in makeup school that I agree with is that if you keep on tapping that metal bit, over time it's gonna like break down. Like it's gonna loosen the glue on the inside and then, you know, like why would you, why would, why would you wanna speed up the process of your brushes crapping out on you? They're expensive, I digress. What I'm gonna do is go kind of underneath my eyebrow and make a line where I want the bottom of it to be. So I'm just gonna tap the brush. I don't know if that picked up on camera, <laughs> but I tapped the brush along the edge and it just kind of like outlines where my eyebrow's gonna be. Um, it gives you a nice straight line if you just tap it, move it over, tap it, move it over, tap it. That'll give you a straighter line sometimes than if you just try to draw a straight line. For me personally, because I have shaky hands. Good thing I'm a makeup artist and not a heart surgeon, am I right? Um, anyway, so what I usually do is get one eyebrow fully done and then kind of try to match the other one to the first one that I've done. Because something that I find is if I do the same step on each individual brow, what will happen is I'll confuse myself at some point and uh, then it won't look great. So what I'm gonna do now is, I like the line that's on the bottom, so I'm gonna kind of, where I want it to end on the inside, I'm gonna put a line there. This obviously isn't perfect, um, but that's okay because I can clean it up. So I'm just gonna connect that line to the ones that are on the top and bottom, or to the line I made on the bottom, and then kind of just follow the top of the eyebrow or the shape that you want, your desired shape. I guess I should talk about shaping before we get too far into this. Um, what you want to do is line up the inner corner of your eye, so using a brush is fine. So you want to line up the inner corner of your eye and just kind of put the brush straight up your face in a straight line, and then that where the brush meets your eyebrow is where you want your line to be. And I actually just put it half a smidgen too far. Should you choose to have an arch in your eyebrow, what you wanna do is put the pencil in the same direction, but then keep, keep it planted, I guess, at the edge of your nostril, and then turn it until when you're looking straight ahead, it crosses through your pupil, I guess. So that 
is where you want your arch to be. At that point, when you get to where your arch is supposed to be, um, you can make a line going down. It's not gonna be like that. Wow, I need to touch up my forehead. Oh, well, whatever. So you can just kind of make a line angling down to <laughs> um, having your brush kind of rooted in the same spot. You want it to line up with the outer corner of your eye. And then where that meets your eyebrow, that's where you want the tip to be. Once you have those lines all figured out, I'll do it in more detail on this eye. I kind of just don't go in for more product yet. I just like to blend it through my eyebrow, just pressing very lightly kind of in all directions to make sure that like if your eyebrow hairs that you do have move, then it's not just like a block of untouched skin. And then sometimes you can dip in one more time, tap off the excess, not on something hard, please use your skin. <laughs> or like pretend you're smoking something, but that always feels weird to me, I don't like that. Um, and then you can just brush with it. Let me see, how do I explain this? Make sure the brush is standing up like this, I guess, and uh, just kind of brush it, pull the product this way a little bit. And that is your finished eyebrow. You can tell, like, if you know that it's powder, you can tell it's powder, but it's not as blatant as <laughs> the eyebrow pomade that is like a bit more pigmented and just like, is paint on your face. You might want to put it, use a setting spray and just kind of fan it until it's dry because sometimes if you're a face toucher or if you wear glasses that rub on your eyebrows like I do, it can rub off throughout the day. Um, so with powder, that's something you wanna be aware of. Um, so now for my second eye, I guess I'll do the measurement first this time because not everybody will have measured their eyebrows first. Um, so where this lines up right there, you can just put your finger and then zoop. Has that shown up on camera? Through my pupil here, I can put my finger there to keep the spot and then tried to make it a little darker for camera. So where that line ends is where my finger was. So from this point down, let's find out where we want our, our tail to end, folks. Okay. So then from there, I can just walk it up, kind of pressing in. And like, this is sloppy, but, <laughs> but we can fix it after. So now that we know where we want it to end in the middle and on the end, and in the middle, where we want our inner corner to be, where we want our arch to be, and where we want our tail to end. Now that we've shaped our eyebrows, we can do that line I was talking about in the beginning, where I just kind of decide that's where I want it to be. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more product because I'm feeling confident in my placement of it, and just gently, lightly, just barely pressing on the skin. Um, create your outline. And if you make a big fat line like that, you can just wipe it off. Um, I'm gonna retouch my foundation after anyway. And the good thing about powder is you can just do it as many times as it takes <laughs> because you can just use a baby wipe or a wet cloth wipe it off and try again. Um, so if you're new to this, I would recommend doing it before the rest of your beauty routine if you're not confident that you're gonna get it on the first try. <laughs> Sometimes when I think I'm gonna have a bad eyebrow day, I, do, I don't do any of my makeup before I do my eyebrows because like, what's the point? It's just gonna wipe it off. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is take the brush like this. Oh my gosh. Oh, Luke just sneezed in the other room and it scared me. And then I'm gonna put it up here and just drag some of that product through my brow. I'm pressing a little bit harder this time. And I don't know how crazy I am about the shape of this one. One always comes out a little bit different, I find, when I do them on myself. Something else you can do is use the spoolie to kind of shape. It'll pick up some of the powder. All right, well, 
there you have it, ladies and gents and people in between. This is, that's kind of the shape that your eyebrows are supposed to be. Um, obviously you can shape them however you want. And if you don't feel that this particular shape of eyebrow fits your gender expression, you can have whatever shape of eyebrows you want. Um, you can look up celebrities that you admire or like, I don't know, just anyone that you've seen before and you think, oh yeah, I could, I could look like that. That would be fine. You can copy their eyebrows. It's maybe weird. I'm realizing that now after saying it, but you can do it and uh, you can do anything. Go you. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to go do stuff. Don't forget to be kind to yourself and others today and I will see you very soon. Bye.